are you doing today? I'm doing pretty fantastic, thank you for asking. We have a problem. Do you wanna know what the problem is? I was playing Rust. I love Rust. I also hate Rust. Anyways, I was playing Rust. I was on this non-PVP server because I don't like being attacked at all. I like building things and creating life and all that fun stuff. Not taking life and destroying people's hopes and dreams. So I found this server with a friend of mine and it was uh, non-PVP. We decided to play on it. We hop on, we're talking to each other, we're building a shack. There's an underlying rule that girls know about. We do not talk. When we're playing video games, we do not talk because three things can happen. One, we get called little boys because we sound like, you know, we haven't hit puberty yet. Two, we get made fun of because we're girl gamers. Three. We get the special treatment. We are building a shack. And all of a sudden, a helicopter comes out of nowhere and destroys said shack and kills me. And I lose my spot and I was really angry. And anyway, so I rush back to the spot to try to get all my stuff. And then the helicopter is just chilling, just hanging around me like, ooh, we do, look at me. I killed you, now what? Hey, <laughs> come back, I dare you. I was talking to my friend like, hey man, like, get the stuff, get the stuff, get the body. And he's like, I can't, there's a helicopter right there. And it's like, I can't, I can hear it, oh god, this is terrifying, blah, blah, blah. So we're going back and forth. And all of a sudden, a third voice jumps in. And I realize, Kate, stop talking. My dumbass does not stop talking. Oh, who's, who's coming to our house? Who is this? Who is he? Are you a friend or are you a foe? Are you a good witch or are you a bad witch? Who are you? Why do you come here? This is my house, was my house. Turns out that guy was the uh, person that ran everything on the server. He created the server. He's the server king guy. Mm. He's the guy. He comes over and he's like, oh, like, are you new? Like, I don't, I don't recognize your name. Here's the part where I completely forgot about, you know, the fact that I'm a girl and I was just playing the dang game and I was like, oh yeah, I'm new. Yeah, we just joined the server like a couple hours ago, but you know, we're building things and it's fine. It's the helicopter is <laughs> stupid. Stupid helicopter killed me. I lost everything. That was my first goof. Oh, well, do you, I can just spawn everything. What'd you lose? I, I can give you everything. Uh, yeah. I want my stuff back, please. Thank you. I tell him I had like, 50 wood and I had like this stone and he just gives me like 500 wood and like this many stone and just Thing after thing he's just giving me. Oh, you want some cooked cow meat? Here you go. You want a rifle? Here you go And I was like, I don't I don't need this. I just want to build things sir The helicopter's still looping around and I was like, yeah, the helicopter's gonna come and kill me and he's like, oh well, I could go. I could go take it down real quick. It's not that hard. Okay, yeah. I mean, if you want to go take it down, you go for it. So he flies off. Literally, Rust. You cannot fly. You can't fly in Rust. Rust is a real game. It's real life. Can't just. Ooh, that doesn't. That's not how real life works. So he takes off, and I was like, great. I'm gonna start building my house back. He's gonna go kill the helicopter. Everything's gonna be fine. So I rebuild my house, and I hear the helicopter go down, and I see it fall out of the sky like a teeny tiny marshmallow, falling, falling. And I think, okay, great, I don't have to worry about the helicopter anymore. I don't have to worry about this guy because he just took down the helicopter. He's going to go mind his own business. That's not what happened, Kate. He comes back and he's like, hey, you should follow me. You can get all the loot from the from the helicopter over there. I, I'm okay. I don't really use guns or anything. I just like building. No, no, I mean, I have other stuff. Like, you could totally come come loot it. Like, I cra I took it down. I crashed it for you. Like, you can, okay, yeah, let's go. Yeah, I'll go get the stuff. We're walking along. We're going to get the stuff. And he's like, so, like, do you like the server so far? And I was like, yeah, it's a lot of fun. We get to the helicopter. He's like, here you go, throwing me the boxes, pointing out where to go for the boxes. And I'm opening it up and I'm like, whoa, look at this gun. This one has a machine gun. Whoa, this has a bomb. Whoa, look at all this stuff. Whoa. And then I was like, oh, I'm out of space. Like, I can't get any more. And he's like, oh, I'll get it for you and I'll like take it back to your house for you. Or you could just tell me what you want and I can just spawn it for you. This is when my friend texted me and was like, is he giving you the special treatment? He is. And that's when I knew I done goofed. But in a way I didn't because I got a lot of great stuff out of it, but at the same time, bruh. Because in a way it's fun because I got a lot of good stuff out of it, but in another way it's like, you wouldn't have done that if I sounded like a man. <sighs> I don't know why this it just irked me because I wanted to, I just wanted to build my house. All of a sudden I have this guy who's just giving me everything, all this loot. There are probably players out there that needed that more than me or wanted that more than me when I just wanted sticks and stones to build a house. I just started playing Overwatch as well. For starters, I now know who Hanzo is because he is my favorite character to play. So Skylar and Andy and some other friends of ours come over and we all play Overwatch. I say we. They play Overwatch and then I wait till they're done and then I play. 
Uh, I don't like when people watch me play. <laughs> Ironic, I know. They all like to talk in the headset. When I play, I don't want the headset because I put it on and be like, hey, can somebody come heal me? I will heal you. I will be mercy. I will heal you. I, I will heal you. Like it just gets, it gets weird. I just kind of want to bring it to light that yes, girls, we get special treatment when we play video games and it sucks because we're one of you dudes. We just aren't you. I don't know why I made this video. Just kind of wanted to get off my chest. I also don't think I'm ever going to play Rust again, but this is fine. I can live without it because Rust is just practically real life. My question for you guys, girls, do you have any stories? of when you were given special treatment. And guys, were you giving special treatment to any girls? And why do you do it? Because I'm genuinely curious. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the story. I'm sorry, it's kind of pointless, but so am I. So anyways, I hope you guys have a fantastic day and I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye. Okay,